Welcome, welcome everyone to Sister Shake Arrives, where we are promoting a better way through the power of the Spirit. Lady Testimony here again with a reminder, with a message of hope as always, and a quick reminder to some people and maybe it may be new for others. And I want you to understand this much, that the word of God is here to guide us and it is here to teach us. And I want you to look at Psalms 1 and what it says. It reads that blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. My sister, I want you to take note of this, and I want you to observe what the word of God is saying. And from this, we want to number ourselves among the righteous. And I want to encourage you, my sisters, never to assassinate another female character. Not as a matter of fact, not just another female character. Never to assassinate another person's character. It results in your own spiritual bankruptcy. Even though you may be struggling and you see others rising, do not get jealous because jealousy leads to your own spiritual demise. Stay true to yourself and others because it will solidify your relationship between you and God. Love everyone, even your enemies, and it will cause you to glow a different kind of glow. Always do good and abide by the word of God. And surely when you are numbered among the righteous, then shall you enjoy the benefits of the righteous and prosper in whatsoever you do it. I would advise you to follow the laws of the land. Follow the laws that is outlined in the Bible, what you should do and should not do. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be righteous and struggling. Remember that there is a fruit of the spirit called long suffering. And so as long as we are here in this earth, and if we want to reign with Christ, we have to suffer with him. So there are times when Christians, believers that are standing, will go through stuff. Because it is your going through and it's through your testing that you can prove God and can stand up on the word to tell others that I know that God can do all things. Because if you've never been sick, you can't testify that God is a healer. Because you're only doing it by word of mouth. I heard someone said it. But when I say it, I know what I'm speaking of. Because I once was a beneficiary of his healing. So I can stand boldly and declare that God is Jehovah Rapha. Because he's still healing and he's still healing today. So I'm encouraging you. To be numbered among the righteous. To be counted as righteous. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible tells us that Abraham believed God. And it was counted unto him for righteousness sake. Just because he was before the law. I want you to know this. That it doesn't matter what situation you find yourself in. Try to make sure that you're doing the best that you can at all times. Try to make sure that whatever you do is the benefit of others. Don't be selfish. Don't think only of yourself, but think of others. Because you may go in through a bad situation. And just when you think of others, God come true for you and move on your behalf. Ask Brother Job. 
how bad his situation was. It was very bad. And the Bible tells us that Job prayed for his friends. And after Job prayed for his friend, Job received double for all that he had. So I'm asking you tonight, it doesn't matter if you're in a downward situation, don't try to pull others down with you. Try to elevate somebody. Because when you do it selflessly and you give of yourself, God is taking notes. And God will surely come true for you. What I'm saying, to be kind, spread love, spread cheer, joy, and happiness. God loves you and God is going to come through for you. Go be a blessing to someone else and watch God cause you to be like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water that will surely bring forth fruit in your season. How blessed the name of the Lord and your fruit tree shall be blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your fruit tree shall be blessed. And then you will have plenty to give away. Because that's just the God that we serve. Spread the love. Spread the joy. And spread the cheer. God loves you. Remember to tell somebody. To subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and share. God bless you as we spread the message of hope. Be blessed until next time. Sister Shag, arise.